Parashatam Param Shishmati Pradhanam Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashikrata Vande Bhagavantau Punapunaha Ishwaro Guru Ratmeti Murti Veda Vipagine Yuma Vadyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murti Sahanavu Sahanavu Yaptu Sahavir Yankaravahi Tijas Vidavati Tamastuma Vidushavahi Um Shantishan Tishantihi Dhatur Ramhi was some proke to Jiva Akya Tamuchate, Prakritikrus Banta, there is Hatu Bramhat Muni Namaha. Nara enough Provicta, and the Mobicta Sambhum, and the Siantas to me look as Sapta Dweepa to me. So, in the sixth verse of the eighteenth chapter, we saw Etan Yapitu Karmani, Sangan Chakta Palanicha, Kartavyani Itime Partha, Nishitam Matamuttamam. So, it's my ascertained opinion, which is basically the idea of Bhagavan that these karmas which are nitya karmas although they are binding for a ajnani they should be done by a viveki mumukshu how sangam chaktva as a karma yogi phalanicha so phala sangam phalanicha chaktva kartavyani they should be done as karma yoga Continuing, Tasmat Adnyasya Adikrata Adikratasya Mukshu. Therefore, for a Mumukshu who is an Adhikari in karma, who is an Adnya? Why is an Adhikari in karma? Because he is a karta. He does not know he is not a karta, therefore, he is an Adnya and has Adhikara in karma. But he is a mumukshu, moksha ichu. Therefore, for him, niyatasya tu sanyasa karmano no papadyate moha tasya parityagas tamasaf parikirtitaha. So, in the case of a mumukshu who has adhikara in karma, not in jnana, what is niyatasya? But Look at the Padachedayar, Niyatasya su sanyasa karmanaha na upapadyate mohat tasya parityagaha tamasaha parikirtitaha. Three types of sanyasas are also there, just like the yajna dana tapa we saw of three types. It is sattvika rajas and tamasika. <coughs> Sorry, so here tamasaha sanyasa parityaga. Is talked about as sannyasa karmanaha niyatasya karmana. Niyatasya is nitya. So nityasya karmana, meaning nitya karmanaha sannyasaha na upapadyate. For whom? For a mumukshu who is an adhikari ajna. So for him, sannyasa is not appropriate to take to mohat. And if at all he takes sannyasa, which is what Arjuna wanted to do in the beginning, in the first and the second chapter, niyatasya tu sannyasa he wanted to take because his nitya karma is a kshatriya dharma, not a nitya karma really, but kshatriya dharma is to protect others. It's a nitya karma only. Thereby, for his Varnashrama, whatever was prescribed, that is his Nitya Karma, he wanted to give up. Why? Mohat. Due to Mohat Hetoho. Due to Moha being under delusion, he wanted to give up. So similarly, anyone who is in his place, who has Adhikara in Karma, being an Ajna, and wanting to be a Jnani is a Mumukshu, wanting Moksha, he shouldn't give up Nitya Karma under the influence of Moha. Tasya Parityagaha, Tasya Niyatasya Karmanaha Parityagaha, Tamasaha. Tamasa Parikirtita. It is said to be Tamasa Parityaga Sanyasa. 
so arjuna wanted to take sanyasa and that sanyasa would have been tamasa sanyasa and bhagwan krishna wanted to protect him from that therefore the entire teaching initially by shaking up by insulting him what kind of you know klaibyam and then he was not disturbed by that word also perhaps someone else would have i mean had anyone else said it being a kshatriya he would have become angry but then his close friend who has his interest in his mind was insulting him to get him to do his nitya karma do his dharma but still he was not moved and then the entire teaching began so moha tasya parityaga karmana niyatasya karmana tamasa parikirita niyatasya tu mini nityasya karmana sanyasa so you have to see this nityas niyatasya connects with karmana otherwise it's difficult to understand even in bhashya bhashya is a pada bhashya it is is more or less always in the sequence of the occurrence of the words in the shloka niyatasya tu nityasya sanyasah parityagah sanyasa and parityaga have a same shade of meaning so niyatasya means nityasya karmanah sanyasa parityagah na upapadyate why so ajnyasya pavanatvasya ishtatva because ajnya who who is a mumukshu wanting moksha and giving up the means to jnana jnan means to moksha is jnana and means to jnana is chitta shuddhi means to chitta shuddhi happens to be nitya karma as a karma yogi and giving up that very nitya karma there won't be chitta shuddhi whereby there won't be a possibility of jnana therefore moksha becomes an impossibility so wanting moksha and not doing nitya karma giving up nitya karma on the other hand is totally contradictory mohat what is the reason mohat not knowing properly being confused meaning ajnanat not knowing what is the right thing to do what is the right means to the goal tasya niyatasya parityagah mohat mohat hetoh meaning ajnanat niyatam cha what is the moha here mohat what is the ajnana niyatam cha avashyam kartavyam has to be done nitya karma tyajyate cha and it is given up iti vipratishiddham both are contradictory something which is is a to be done duty and giving that up are contradictory ataha moha nimittah parityagah tamasah parikirtitah therefore this parityagah sanyasa having its base in moha is called as tamasa now the puropaksha is why do you call it as due to moha due to moha why do you call it as tamasa it may be due to moha but moha and tamas connection is not known therefore bhagwan bhashyakara says mohascha tama iti and what is moha moha is tama what else is moha moha is tama because ajnana moha is ajnana and ajnana is tama kincha further dukham ityeva yat karma kaya klesha bhayat tyajet sakrutva rajasan tyagam naiva tyaga phalan labhet so what is rajasika sanyasa then dukham iti eva yat karma kaya klesha bhayat tyajet saha krutva rajasam tyagam na eva tyaga phalam labhet so tyajet if one were to give up so shakyarth visiling shakyarth ling you can take if one were to give up what karma so yat karma whichever karma is given up for what reason 
dukham iti eva considering that it is troublesome to do it is painful every karma is painful why should i get up early in the morning and do any sandhya vandana kshatriya for a kshatriya why should i protect others for a vaishya you know why should i take so much of trouble and bring things and sell or give it to others why should i do that why should i serve people with what they need and from the shudra's perspective why should i do any service to anyone so all these are what kartavya karma but dukham each person has trouble with some sort of karma why oh, do want to do it so that that is why we end up procrastinating but here why should i do it i am happy without doing it any thing brings me especially where i don't get anything especially which does not have a drushta phala which has adrushta phala why should i do it so dukham iti eva with that consideration yat karma kaya klesha bhaya because it is painful it is going to bring me sorrow pain klesha for my kaya sharira due to that bhaya if one thinks that it is dukham and it is going to lead to kaya klesha therefore there is bhaya of kaya klesha and due to that reason yat karma tyajet सहसोवर्यजेत सह राजसम त्याग दैट कैंड ऑफ त्याग यस इज नॉट डूइंग इट वाई बिकॉज इट इज दुख रूप सो हि इज गिविंग अप दैट कर्म इट इज नॉट गिवन अप ड्यू टू दि राइट थिंकिंग अर्लियर देर वॉज मोह अज्ञान एंड दैट अज्ञान कैन बी ऑफ एनी टाइप एज इन there this kind of a thinking also may not proceed it may just be why i mean even neo vedanti would fit in there i don't need to do it i am already free without actually being trained to know as to what is the real freedom there so that kind of a person would also fit in the earlier tamasa or you know due to dukha sorrow not of the karma any you know the smashana vairagya also would fit in there here the person thinks that the no i don't like to do it because you know after that i am tired why should i do it i don't get much out of it all that i get is kaya klesha so that becomes the nimitta for tyaga then that kind of a tyaga is rajasa tyaga such tyaga if one takes to such tyaga meaning rajasam tyagam krutva sah satyagi one who has given up tyaga phalam naiva labhet what is this tyaga phala tyaga is to be done with the thinking that i am not a karta bhokta which will lead to moksha that kind of a phala one wouldn't get so that is the 8th verse भगवान भाष्यकार से दुखम यत्कर्म काय क्लेश भयात मीनिंग शरीर दुख भयात त्यजेत इफ वन वेर टू गिव अप दी कर्म विच इज दुख रूप थिंकिंग दैट इट इज दुख दुख इति दुखम इति सो इट इज दुख रूप थिंकिंग दैट इफ वन वेर टू गिव अप बिकॉज देर इज व्हाट काइंड ऑफ दुख शरीर दुख सो शरीर दुख भया दट इज दी दुख मिथि so kaya klesha is sharira dukha and there is fear that there is shari, going to be sharira dukha <coughs> sorry sah sah tyagi krutva rajasam rajasam is rajo nirvartyam which is accomplished due to even to give up some karma that you are able to do but to give that up thinking that i won't do this basically that person will be doing something else an easier way out 
that kind of tyaga, tyagam krutva, naiva, tyaga phalam labhet. What is tyaga phala? Jnana purva kasya, sarva karma tyaga sya phalam, naiva labhet. Which is called as moksha. Moksha kyam phalam na labhet, naiva labhet. Labhet is what? It is actually love dhatu is a atmane padi dhatu. The form should have been labhet. So Bhagavan Bhashakara quietly says that it is read labhet into it. It is arsha prayoga. Not labhet. Labhet. So mokshakyam phalam naiva labhet. What is this mokshakya phala? It is jnana purvaka sarva karma tyaga. So sarva karma sanyasa is jnana purvaka. That tells you a lot. It is going to come up again. So there is Sarva Karma Tyaga. Sarva Karma Tyaga itself is not Jnana Rupa. Jnana Purvaka. Preceded by Jnana. That kind of Sarva Karma Tyaga. It can be a can be a uh, Ashrama Sanyasi or not an Ashrama Sanyasi. But then Sarva Karma Sanyasa is not possible without jnana. So there can be a sannyasi who is sarva karma sannyasi by taking to ashrama but does not have jnana, who is not a really sarva karma tyagi. Whereas there can be someone not in the sannyas ashrama but who has jnana, he can be sarva karma tyagi. Rare, but possible. But that kind of a person has no adhikara in karma, which is what the argument was we saw in the last part. Huh? Further, kafpunaha sattvika tyaga iti aha. So now the question is, tamasika tyaga has been talked about, rajasika tyaga has been talked about, what about sattvika tyaga? So that is answered in the ninth verse. Karyam mityeva yat karma niyatam kriya terjuna sangan chaktva phalan chaiva satyagas satviko mataha. So karyam iti eva yat karma niyatam kriya te arjuna sangam chaktva phalam cha eva saha tyagaha satvikaha mataha. So that tyaga is considered as sattvika. Which tyaga? Yat karma karyam. Yat niyatam karma. Whichever is in itcha karma, that is karyam, kartavyam. It should be done. Iti eva, with that thinking, karma kriyate. Hey Arjuna. Thinking that this nitya karma has to be done. With that thinking, if the karma is done, so meaning what? Thinking that this is prescribed to my Varnashrama, so I should do it. What I get out of it? Why should I do it? Is it sorrowful? Dukkha rupa? All that thinking should not be there at all. So there is no reason other than it is prescribed to me. So I should do it. That's it. Why? All this is secondary. It should not even be at the forefront. Therefore, Sangam Chaktva. Phalancha. Earlier it was said, Sangam Phalancha Chaktva. Eva. Priyate. Satyagaha Satvika Mataha. So that is because Sangha and Phalatyaga has been done. That Tyaga. He is sattvika. Although he is doing karma, he is not given up the karma. Karma is retained. Karma is being done as prescribed. But sangha, sangha tyaga is done and phala tyaga is done. Karma yoga. That karma yoga is sattvika tyaga. Praise to be a be equivalent to sannyasa. It's a praise to tyartham. So karyam meaning kartavyam iti evayat karma niyatam. Niyatam is nitya karma kriyate nirvartyate. It is accomplished. It is performed. Here, Arjuna, how Sangam Chaktva Phalanchayeva Chaktva, having given up attachment and expectancy of result. Having given up result means there is nothing that you can 
it is not like uh, getting a gift that you say no to so this phala is phala asakti ityartha etat niyat nityanam karmanam phalavatve bhagavad vachanam pramanam avochama now this phalan chaktva has been said nitya karma has been said and phalan chaktva now this had come up earlier also nitya karma has no phala at all oh there is phala why this is the pramana bhagavan krishna is saying nitya karma done with the attitude of karma yoga meaning giving up asakti towards phala itself shows that there is phala you don't need any other pramana bhagavan krishna is saying that one can do karma by giving up the phala shakti meaning there is phala there will be phala undoubtedly so therefore bhagavan bhashyakara says even up till now in the till the 18th chapter if you the purva mimamsaka has not understood then look at this etat nityanam karmanam phalavatve that nitya karma has phala for that phalavatve with respect to nitya karma having phalavatvam bhagavad vachanam pramanam avochama we give this as pramana what is this bhagavad vachanam ishvara vachanam athava otherwise what else is there to see there yadyapi phalam na shruyate nityasya karmana although shruti does not talk about phala for nitya karma tathapi nityam karma krutam atma samskaram pratyavaya pariharam va phalam karoti atmanah iti kalpatyeva ajnah otherwise so bhagwan krishna is saying that is sufficient if you want to still analyze then he says who is the phala for phala is always for a karta who wants to be a bhokta therefore bhagwan is saying that for that karta there will be phala don't worry about it your karma will not go without results so you do it because it is prescribed you do it you will get a phala anyway now he says what is the reality there that is bhagavad vachana for for a karta for one who has kartrutva bhava beta mumukshu but still an ajnani therefore ajnani thinks that if he wants to analyze then he thinks that what is the karma phala there in nitya karma he imagines himself as a karta therefore everything else falls in place but he is not really karta jeev brahma hi vana para that is not known therefore he is an ajna and ajna's kalpana is what what is this phala now that phala yadyapi phalam na shruyate nityasya karmana tathapi nityam karma krutam kar nitya karma has been done therefore this karma has to give some result what karma is it, is it going to give atma samskaram it is going to give atma there is antakarana so antakarana sanskara shuddhi chitta shuddhi it is going to lead to or va pratyavaya pariharam so pratyavaya dosha parihara this karma will give for a karta it has to give some phala so even if you don't know it which is a phala then swarga may not be the phala which is all right but it will give you atma sanskara chitta shuddhi or it will give you pratyavaya parihara सो आत्म संस्कार प्रत्यय परिहार वित्यम कर्म कृत यम कर्म कृत आत्म संस्कार प्रत्यय परिहार वल करोती दैट विल ब्रिंग दिस रिजल्ट सो प्रत्यवाय परिहार और आत्म संस्कार यू कैन टेक एंड ऑल्सो वा कैन बी चार्थे ऑल्सो नॉट एन इश्यू बोथ इट कैन ब्रिंग इवन इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट प्रत्यवाय परिहार इट विल गिव atma samskara is a result if you give up the phala akanksha as a karm, as karma yoga if you do then it will give atma samskara so it can be it is split because atma samskara is for a mumukshu who is not even looking for pratyavaya parihara pratyavaya parihara is for a karmi so va can remain as va 
or even for a mumukshu it is going to bring atma samskara and while giving chitta shuddhi it will also give pratyavaya parihara for whom atmana for oneself so this is a reflexive atmanah atma samskara meaning chitta samskaram antakarana samskaram pratyavaya pariharam va phalam karoti iti ajnaha kalpati eva one who does not know that i am a karta for him there has to be some phala whether it is a laukika phala like swarga or it is pratyavaya parihara so that papa nivarana takes place or as a mumukshu atma samskara meaning chitta shuddhi takes place this is the thinking kalp why kalpayati it is not that oh this does not have any result and it is imagined but just like swarga is a phala imagined imagine in the sense imagine by the shruti also imagine because you who think yourself as a karta for you phala has to be imagined because kartrutva itself is imagined so bhoktrutva will be imagined by you because of which there is kartrutva bhava therefore everything is a kalpana everything is need not be imagination it is projection or a vikshepa vikshepa created by maya using maya ishwara wields the maya and creates such a setup तत्र तामपि कल्पनाम निवारयति नाउ दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग वन शुड वीन वन सेल्फ अवे फ्रॉम बीइंग अ मुमुक्षु देयरफॉर तत्र तत्र इन तस्मिन विषय तामपि कल्पनाम निवारयति फलं त्यक्त्वा इत्यनेन सो यू गिव अप द आसक्ति फॉर द रिजल्ट यू ऑफर द रिजल्ट्स अनटू द लॉर्ड व्हाटएवर इट इज आई विल टेक इट एज प्रसाद दिस इज प्रसाद बुद्धि अतः साधु उत्तम देर फोर इट हेज बीन वेरी वेल सेट दैट संगन त्यक्ता फलम चैति सत्याग नित्य कर्मसु संग फल परित्याग सात्विक सत्व निर्वृत्त मत मीनिंग अभिप्रेत सो वॉट इज इंटेडेड टू बी शो वॉट इज इंटेडेड इज दैट सात्विक परित्याग this parityagah satyagah this kind of tyagah meaning doing the karma without the asakti and to phala and attachment with the sangha with the karma also is called as satvika accomplished by sattva sattva guna therefore sattva nirvrutta mata abhipreta that is what is intended here now there is a there is a nice purva paksha nice light moment पूर्व पक्ष ननु कर्म परित्याग प्रकृत वॉट इज ए कॉन्टेक्स्ट सो पूर्व पक्षी से कॉन्टेक्स्ट हियर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ त्याग आर बींग टॉक्ड अबाउट त्रिविद कर्म परित्याग थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ गिविंग अप रिनाउंसिएशन ऑफ कर्म विच इज कॉल्ड एस संस प्रकृत दैट इज द कॉन्टेक्स्ट तत्र तामस राजस्च उक्तः त्यागः देयर तामसिक एंड राजसिक त्याग हैज बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट तामसिक त्याग इज व्हाट इट इज दैट त्याग वेयर देयर इज मोह एज अ हेतु राजसिक त्याग इज दैट त्याग वेयर वन थिंग्स दैट दिस इज दुख रूप देयर इज अ काय क्लेश भय नाउ व्हेन यू कम टू सात्विक व्हाट हैज बीन सेड यू डू दिस कर्म मीनिंग दिस कर्म व्हिच इज which is known as one's duty doing that is tyaga katham yo sanga phala tyaga tritiyatvena uchyate so here karma being done is talked as tyaga earlier moha due to moha one does not want to do that qualifies as tyaga whatever be the reason it is tyaga because karma is not being done here in rajasa The earlier rajasika tyaga, there also tyaga is being done because zukha rupa I don't want to do, one doesn't do. So kaya klesha bhaya is here too, moha isn't, but kaya klesha whatever be the here too, but karma is not being done, it is given up. There is renunciation tyaga in both cases. Here there is karma being done. How can this karma being done called as satvika tyaga? Let let alone how can it be called as tyaga? Let alone as satvika tyaga? this is the question katham iha sanga phala tyaga tritiyatvena uchyate so that example given is very interesting you know yatha 
त्रय ब्राह्मण आगता त्रडंग विदौ द्व क्षत्रिय तृतीय तदवत सो इज एक्सापल इज दैट थ्री ब्राह्मण कम दिस इज वॉट the examples is used as if you are explaining that three brahmanas have arrived agataha among these three brahmanas two are shadanga vidau dau so two are having veda vedanga knowledge they know all the six all the six vedas so these are two brahmanas what about the third third is a kshatriya so what kind of a, what kind of an explanation third has to be a brahmana to be talked about three brahmanas have arrived but you somehow are making a statement three brahmanas have come in but among them two are shadanga vida meaning among those two brahmanas two two are scholars and the third one is a kshatriya third one can't be a kshatriya he has to be a brahmana similarly two tyagas you have talked about i understand what about the third there is no third tyaga so this is a statement like saying three brahmanas have arrived among them वन इज अ क्षत्रिय नईश दोष भगवान भाष्यकर इट इज नॉट एन इश्यू एट ऑल बिकॉज त्याग इज कॉमन युअर एक्साम्पल इज नॉट फिटिंग बिकॉज त्याग इज कॉमन इन ऑल दी थ्री डोंट लुक एट कर्मा बींग डन इज त्याग बींग डन और नॉट अर्लियर कर्म त्याग इज बींग डन हिअर फल त्याग इज बींग डन त्याग इज कॉमन संन्यास त्याग दैट इज टू बी लुक्ड इन टू बट नॉट कर्म so therefore tyaga samanyena stutyar tatvat so karma tyaga may not be there but you can do a stuti as it is sanya like it is as though it is sanyasa because tyaga is samanya common between all three asti hi karma sanyasasya phala bhi sandhi tyagasya cha tyagatva samanyam karma tyaga and phala tyaga do they have tyaga in the earlier two there is karma tyaga in the third there is phala tyaga tyaga is common right so in karma sanyasa which is in the earlier two and actually called as sanyasa also elsewhere what is called as sanyasa which is giving up karma really here also thinking that see not do it not just सम कर्म हियर ऑल्सो वॉट इज मेन्ट इज संस इट्स सम मे टेक संस बिकॉज ऑफ मोह विच इज अर्जुन केस और यू नो समथिंग नॉट वेल इन लाइफ अ पर्सन इज डिप्रेस्ड एंड डज नॉट फिट इन दी सोसायटी ही थिंग्स दैट आई डोट वॉन्ट टू यू नो कंटिन्यू दिस वे माइट एज वेल टेक संस देर इज नो पर्टिक्युलर रीजन ऑफ ज्ञान मोक्ष इच्छा एनी ऑफ दैट दैट इज तामस संस त्याग और स्मशान वैराग्य समथिंग हैपन इन लाइफ एंड देन समवन थिंग्स आर डिजेक्टेड कंप्लीटली डिप्रेशन देन राजस इज आई डोंट वांट टू वर्क यू नो व्हाई व्हाई शुड आई वर्क लेट्स टेक टू संन्यास सो दैट इज राजस सो इन बोथ केसेस त्याग ऑफ कर्म इज इन्वॉल्व सो कर्म संन्यास से एंड फला भी संधि त्याग से जो इन दी थर्ड केस Satvika, which is called as Satvika Tyaga, there Tyaga is there because he is giving a phala association with phala. Phala bi sandhi Tyaga se ja Tyaga to samanya mastiyeva. Tyaga is common. Tatra Rajasa Tama Satvika na Karma Tyaga Ninda ya Karma Phala bi sandhi Tyaga Satvika Tyaga na Stuyate Sat Tyaga Satviko Matai thi. And this is a stuti of the third as Sanyasa, even if the earlier two are really sanyasa a person is giving up everything and taking sanyasa due to moha another is giving up everything and taking to sanyasa because he is he does not want any karma anything to do with karma because of dukha not dukha in the sense viveka driven that this dukha rupa it is not like you know sarvam dukham like the bauddha say But sarvam dukham is a kaya klesha bhay is there. No, there is a lot of work involved. Why should I do it? With that thinking, they both may be taking sannyasa, but still this person that is tatar rajasa tamasvatya na karma sa tyaga ninda ya that ninda has been done. 
because in the earlier case moha ajnana is involved in the other case there is kaya klesha bhaya involved so both are nindita sanyasas in comparison although this is not sanyasa person is not taking to sanyasa is continuing in the ashrama earlier ashrama karma phalavi sandhi tyagaha since the person has no akanksha of phala at all therefore satvikatvena that is satvika vritti therefore satvikatvena stuyate since there is satvika vritti satvika guna is manifest it is showing up saying that okay i don't want the phala that tyaga is superior and because there is tyaga it is called as sanyasa so tyaga satvika mataha it is stuyate if the stuti it is not sanyasa i agree but there is a praise that it is sanyasa and not of a of a lower order like the earlier because ninda has been done so in comparison it is better yastu adikrutah sangam cyaktva phalavi sandincha nityam karma karoti tasya phalaragadina akalushi kriyamanam antakaranam nityaischa karma bi sanskriyamanam vishuddhyati now earlier what has been said here it was said that kalpayati atmanah atma samskaram phalam kalpayati so there is a thinking that there is atma samskara antakaran samskara chitta shuddhi so here yahatu adikritah one who has an adhikari in karma jnani has no adhikara in karma so one who is adikrita in karma meaning is a mumukshu ajnani sangan tyaktva having given up sanga and phalavi sandhim cha tyaktva giving up akanksha for phala nityam karma karoti nityam is niyata what has been said here niyata karma if one does it one who does it tasya phalaragadina akalushi kriyamanam antakaranam this antakarana which otherwise would have phalaraga and which otherwise would cause impressions vasanas and taint the antakarana such a thing is not going to happen because he has given up phalavi sandhi so that phalavi sandhi meaning phalaraga phala akanksha being dropped the phalaraga is no longer there that i want phala because he has given up i do not want phala whether i get it or not i don't want it because of that what will happen that satvika vritti which is bereft of raga towards the phala therefore phala raga dina akalushi kriyamanam therefore untainted by phala raga that kind of antakarana nityaischa karma bi sanskriyamanam vishuddhyati which is not tainted by phala and karma is also being done so karma being done will cleanse the antakarana and the phala shakti not being there it won't taint so there is a double cleansing one it is not being tainted second it is being cleaned therefore vishuddhyati tad vishuddham meaning prasad prasannam which will bring a lot of shanti there is no turbulence in the mind as to oh, you know i want result so what should i do how much should i do is it sufficient should i do more all that pressure isn't there therefore vishuddham prasannam atma atma lochana kshamam bhavati so what is this chitta shuddhi atma lochana kshamam bhavati it will become capable for the vision of atma vision in the sense to vision of the shastras what it talks about the real atma to be i am not the sharira i am not this indriya samuha i am not this manaha buddhi ahankara pancha kosha tita that kind of atma who, which is very subtle to understand one starts to understand the subtle becomes more and more clear to the person to the sadaka tasyeva nitya karma anushthanena vishuddhanta karanasya 
आत्मज्ञान विमुख से क्रमेण यथातनिष्ठा सद्वक्तव्यम नाउ दिस पर्सन हु इज डूइंग सात्विक त्याग मीनिंग वन हु इज हैज बिकम अ कर्म योगी डूइंग नित्य कर्म सो तस्व विशुद्धांतकरण से तस्व दैट साधक हु इज हैविंग विशुद्ध अंतकरण सो विशुद्ध अंतकरण ये मुक्षो हो स मुक्ष स मुक्षो विशुद्ध अंतकरण तस्य विशुद्ध अंतकरण से मुक्षो हो नित्य कर्माष्ठान विशुद्ध वाई इज देर इज विशुद्ध अंतकरण नित्य कर्माष्ठान इज हेतु नित्य कर्माष्ठान विच इज कॉल विच इज कैन बी इक्वेटेड बाय व्हाट वी हैव लर्न नाउ सो नित्य कर्माष्ठान सात्विक त्याग विच इज कॉल्ड सात्विक त्याग नित्य कर्माष्ठान फलाभिधि विना क्रियमाणेन कर्म कर्म दैट इज नित्य कर्म सो नित्य कर्माष्ठान विशुद्ध सो द अंतकरण बिकम्स विशुद्ध विशुद्ध अंतकरण ये मुक्षो आत्मज्ञाभिमुख से देर बाय दैट अंतकरण बिकम्स नॉन टर्ब्युलेंट इज कंपोज प्रसन्न एंड बिकमिंग प्रसन्न आत्मालोचन क्षमा इट इज आत्मालोचन क्षमा न केपेबल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दि आत्म तत्व therefore फोर आत्मज्ञाभिमुख दिस पर्सन विल बिकम टर्न अवे फ्रॉम दि लौकिक इंटरेस्ट हैविंग दि पुरुषार्थ निश्चय ही इज कंप्लीटली टर्न टूवर्ड्स आत्मा न हि वॉज अ मुमुक्षु हु इज अ जिज्ञासु हु वॉन्ट्स टू नो आत्म तत्व न देर फोर ही इज टर्न टूवर्ड्स आत्मज्ञान सो आत्मज्ञाभिमुख से instead of going outward he is inquiring into inward the real self not towards the kosha and beyond he is turned away from the outside within the kosha also he is going within and then trying to understand the atma tattva therefore atma jnana vimukasya jignyaso ho kramena yatha tannishta syat Over a period of time, through Shravana Marana Nidhidya Asana, when he lands on that Atma Tattva, how there will be Atma Nishtha? That Krama should be talked about. That Krama, so Krame na yatha tan Nishtha sya tadvaktavyam. That Krama has to be mentioned. Iti aha. That is the tenth verse. Nadvesh ya kushalam karma kushale na nushajjate. त्यागी सत्व समाविष्ट मेधावी छिन्न संशय स न द्वेष्टी अकुशल कर्म कुशले न अनुसज्यते त्यागी सत्व समाविष्ट मेधावी छिन्न छिन्न संशय सिंगल वर्ड छिन्न संशय स न द्वेष्टी अकुशल कर्म न द्वेष्टी अकुशल विच इज Not conducive. He does not have dvesha, so raga dvesha shouldn't be there. Initially, one weans oneself out from the kamya karma, but kamya karma dvesha shouldn't be there. Any karma dvesha should no dvesha should be entertained. That is the idea. So akushalam karma na dveshti. Who is that tyagi? This tyagi. Who is this tyagi? Tyagi is a sattvic tyagi. Sattva samavista tyagi. Sattva samavista tyagi will do nitya karma with karma yoga attitude, meaning dropping the sangha to the karma, asakti towards karma and asakti towards phala also. And kushale na anusajjate. So in the nitya karma also, he has no attachment. He is not doing it with attachment. He is doing it as kartavya karma, but not with attachment as to, oh, this is my karma, and having passion about it in such a manner that it binds. That shouldn't be the case. It should be. It is kartavya karma. I do it. That's about it. So there should there should be no trap that he falls into. There should be no raga towards the karma. There should be no dvesha towards the karma that he has dropped. 
काम में करो बिकॉज एनी वे ही डज नॉट नीड एनी फल दैट कैंड ऑफ त्यागी सत्व समाविष्ट मेधावी बिकॉज ही इज हिज विवेक विल ग्रो विशुद्ध अंतकरण विल मेक हिम आत्मालोचन क्षमा हिल बिकम आत्मज्ञान अभिमुख क्रमेण एंड देन मेधावी दट विवेकी आत्मात्म विवेकी विल बिकम छिन्न संशय इन टाइम फ्रॉम श्रवण हिल मूव ऑन टू मनन सो छिन्न संशय छिन्ना संशया सह छिन्न संशय स न द्वेष्टी अकुशल अकुशल इज अशोभनम काम्यम कर्म इत सो काम्य कर्म ही डज नॉट हैव द्वेषा टूवर्ड्स वॉट कैंड ऑफ कर्म इज दिस शरीर आरम शरीरारंभ द्वारेण संसार कारण इवन इफ इट इज गो इट लीड्स टू बंधन संसार कारण बिकॉज इट विल लीड टू अनदर शरीर शरीर आरंभ द्वारा संसार कारण इट विल मेक अ पर्सन कंटिन्यू इन संसार स्टील द पर्सन हेज नो द्वेषा टूवर्ड्स इट इन दंतकरण ही मे और मे नॉट डू इट इवन इफ इट डजेंट डू इट स्टील देर शुड बी नो द्वेषा टूवर्ड्स इट ही शुड जस्ट स्टेप आउट दट्स इट विदउट एनी टेन्ट इन हिज माइंड दैट बिकॉज एज सून एज यू हेव द्वेषा then dvesha will separate you from that causing dvaita that's one problem other issue is that one has misunderstood that i am a karta so it will one may not have understood clearly that i am not a karta but as long as one keeps on having dvesha the bhedas are entertained then the karta that i am not doing it it is horrible karma or something of that sort if there is dvesha then it will create more and more kartrutva there even in the dropping of the karma that i have given up that karma because it is bad that will start creating impressions it will further the dvesha and it will make the kartrutva bhava deeper because i am seeing myself as separate from something and trying to do something even that sanyasa tyaga also with the bhava that i am the karta who is giving up that will bind kim anena ityevam so what what do i have to do with it i don't have want to do it i don't have anything to do with but there should be no dvesha he should not go around and spreading hate so that is the idea there and in kushala karma kushale shobhane karme karmani नित्य कर्मणी विच इज नित्य कर्म इन दैट नित्य कर्म विच इज शोभना गुड फॉर साधक सत्व शुद्धि ज्ञानोत्पत्ति तनिष्ठा हेतु मोक्ष कारण अनुष्यते नो दिस इज मोक्ष कारण आई हैव टू डू इट इफ यू कीप ऑन थिंकिंग दैट इज मोक्ष कारण एंड यू कीप ऑन डूइंग इट यू विल ऑलवेज कीप ऑन डूइंग इट इट विल ऑल्सो क्रिएट अ प्रेशर ओ आई हेव नॉट डन दिस आई हैव टू डू इट Again, kartrutva will become deeper and deeper. If you look at the flip side, kartrutva becomes deeper and deeper. Instead of that, sattva shuddhi jnanotpatti tanishta hetu. Fine, but hetu tve na moksha karanam midam. Oh, this is good. That is not really moksha karana. That is krameena moksha karana. It is not directly moksha karana. It has to be drop for shravana manan nididhyasana. That should take primary importance finally. therefore one should wean oneself out from that thinking that this is my karma over a period of time that buddhi should drop kartrutva should not be hold held upon because kartrutva towards what it's towards varnashrama karma that varnashrama karma is prescribed for the body which is born as long as we think that this is the karma to be done then it will remain as to be done karma as long as body is there and the association with body grows deeper and do, deeper instead move on towards jnana this is a 
sadhana for chitta shuddhi but should not hold on to it forever as a sadhana to chitta shuddhi and not deepen the kartrutva bhava even with nitya karma so sattva shuddhi jnanotpatti tannishta hetutvena moksha karanam idam ityam na anushajyate one does not bind himself further anushangam preetinna karoti one does not grow his attachment because we see people who oh, love to do deva puja good it is good but then it is not moksha karana it is a satvika thing to do all right but then people say oh, i i love to do this the more you love to do it the more the deity will bless you and make you continue to remain remain a sadhaka there you are not praying any more for chitta shuddhi or for jnana because you like to do puja it is not for the sake of moksha there any longer it is for the sake of the deity that manifest form of ishwara if you are going towards a particular manifest form of ishwara you have limited the ishwara and ishwara wants you to give what you want so there being preeti towards a particular deity ishwara in that form particular form will bless you and want you to remain the devotee as well and wanting to serve the lord in such a particular way one would be sowing seeds to be born in that particular way again and again which is not nitya moksha at all which is not moksha let, let alone nitya therefore although it is the right thing to do initially still not with attachment so sangam tyaktva is this giving up sanga that preeti towards that karma also it is a duty to be done to be done perfectly as much as possible but not with preeti towards it so it, it's quite a difficult thing you know you know they say that you know if you if you uh, do what you love you don't have to work a day this is not like that in sadhana it is not like that you should not get attached to the karma and this is something that is seen in a sanyasi also an orthodox person who takes to sanyasa misses his yajna pavita and his nitya karma deva puja ityadi deva puja is not a sanyasi dharma at all it is done by mathadipatis because they have a responsibility to take care take care of but a sanyasi is a who is going around does not stay for more than 3 days in a particular place such a sanyasi or sanyasi by definition is one who goes and does not get attached to any place or people he cannot get attached to a deity also to any karma also so all those karmas have been given up one should not miss them if there is preeti it will continue in the antakarana so karma adhikara itself isn't there for a sanyasi so this is the training towards that to you train your antakarana to do what is required without attachment it's a it's a tall order it's but that's how one would get to asanga atma if sanga is there preeti is there how can one understand asanga atma it let it appear as you are doing a perfect job because you love it that there is so much of preeti towards it but let it not be there in one's own mind that is the idea here preeti na karoti ityetat kah puna aso who is this person tyagi purvoktena sanga phala tyagena tadvan tyagi who is this tyagi there are three tyagis mentioned not the earlier two this is the satvika tyagi tadvan meaning sanga phala tyagena tadvan he has sanga tyaga and phala tyaga therefore tyagi tyaga asya asti iti tyagi so tadvan matuparte ini is there that matupartha is said as tadvan meaning sanga tyaga and phala tyaga van sanga tyaga phala tyaga cha asya asti iti tyagi यह कर्मणि संगन त्यक्त्वा तत्फलं च नित्य कर्मानुष्ठायि सह त्यागी 
And if it is still not clear or one has forgotten, then Bhagavan Bhashikara says, one who has given up Sangha unto Karma, attachment unto Karma, and has given up Phala also, Phala resulting from such Karma, that kind of a Nitya Karma Anushthai, one who does Nitya Karma Anushthana, that person is called as Tyagi. Why? Stuti Mukhena. There is Stuti, Stuti being done there. Sutyartham, Kadapunaha Asu Akushalam Karma Nadveshti, Kushalecha Nanushadjate Iti Ujjate. If there is a question, when does he not have Dvesha against this Akushala Karma, Kamya Karma, and when does it, does he not have Sangha unto Kushala Karma, Nitya Karma Ityadi? Sattva Samavishtaha Yada Sattvena. Atman Atma Viveka Vijnana Hetuna Samavishtaha Samvyaptaha Bhavati Sanyuktaha Ityatata. So when he becomes Sattva Samavishtaha, when Sattva takes over the person completely, or oh, right, predominantly, then completely you can say completely because Rajas and Tamas do not have an occasion to manifest, except you know, when things are to be done, Rajas manifest when. One has to fall asleep, that time tamas comes in. But other than that, predominantly sattvika. So, yada sattva samavishtaha, meaning sattvena. What is sattva there? Atman atma viveka vijnana hetuna. So, the sattva there is such that it will help atman atma viveka. All the time that continues to be there, effort towards atma jnana. Atma Jnana continues, so Atma Anatma Viveka effort continues and it becomes a Vijnana Hetu. That sat Sattva becomes a Vijnana Hetu. Tena Samavishtaha, meaning Samvyaptaha, completely overwhelmed by that. There is nothing else to even think about, nothing else to do. Sanyukta Ityetata. So Sadaka in the complete sense. Atayeva sa uh, Atayeva cha medhavi. And therefore, since Atma and Atma Viveka has set in, has completely taken over the Antakkarana. So Antakkarana does not get hijacked by anything and everything. The monkey mind does not keep on jumping everywhere. And sometimes does Viveka instead of that. Atma and Atma Viveka is continuous with effort earlier. Thereby Medhavi. So he has Medha. Medhavi is also similarly Matupartha has Medha. Medhaya Atma Jnana Lakshanaya Prajnaya Sanyukta Tadwan Medhavi. So Tadwan. Medhavan is Medhavi. Sanyukta endowed with Prajna. Prajna means through endowed with Prajna. What kind of Prajna? Prajna which is Lakshana. Atma Jnana Lakshana. So Atma Jnana Lakshanaya Prajna. Atma Jnana Lakshanaya is Bahuri to Prajnaya as Anyapadartha. Medha Vitva Deva Chinna Samshaya and this Medha, Medha Vitvam becomes the Hetu for being Chinna Samshaya. Medha will finally lead to Samshaya's going away. Chinnaha Samshaya Yasya. Chinnaha means Avidya Krutaha Samshaya. Chinna is shattered. Destroyed. What is destroyed? Samshaya. Which Samshaya? Avidya Krutaha. Samshaya which has come up due to Avidya. Yasya Atma Surupa Avasthanam Eva Param Nishreyasa Sadhanam Na Anyat Kinchid Ityayam Nishchayana Chinna Samshaya. So what is the end result of this Samshaya is being destroyed? What is if Samshaya has not been? Is doubt not been? Nishchaya is there. What is that Nishchaya? Nishchayena Sinna Samshaya. Samshaya goes away because there is a complete ascertainment conviction. What is the conviction? Anyat kinchin nasti. Kasmad anyat. Anyat means Atma Surupa was thanam eva param nishres sadhanam. Tasmad anyat kinchin api nasti. There is nothing other than Atma Surupa was thana. Surupa nishtha. Other than that, there is no Nishresa Sadhana. Nishresa is Moksha. Moksha Sadhana is finally remaining in one's own Swarupa. Atma Swarupa Avasthanam. There is one Yoga Sutra also like this. 
योग चित्तवृत्ति निरोध तदा दृष्टु स्वरूपे अवस्थान तदा दृष्टु स्वरूपे अवस्थान सूत्र दे सो दृष्टु स्वरूपे वॉट इज दृष्टु स्वरूप आत्मा इट से ओन स्वरूप दृष्टा दृषि मात्र आत्मस्वरूपस्थान नथिंग एल्स एव पर नाट मलटीपल साधना बट देर इज ओनली वन साधना नोयिंग युवर स्वरूप एंड स्टेइंग इन दैट यू कैनाट स्टे इन युअर स्वरूप अन्ले नो सो ज्ञान एव मोक्ष साधन बट ज्ञान leading to swarupa avastha having jnana and being everywhere doing anything and everything is not moksha sadhana nishresha sadhana is what knowing what is right and staying in that not in something that you are not it is a it is not a life of becoming something it is life of being what you are atma swarupa is what you already are you cannot become anything else no matter what you try you can never become what you are not what you are is getting lost upon you if you strive to be something else here the idea is to for me to be what i really am not to run away and hanker after things and try to become something there is no trying to become something else but remaining what one is in trying to become something else one is never going to become something else and in trying to do so one has lost one swarupa also there is a disconnect in the buddhi therefore instead of trying to become what you can never become you have to be what you already are so that is dropping of neti neti so atma swarupa avasthanam ye param nishresh sadhanam na anyat kinchit sadhanam asti iti evam nischayena there are no samshayas therefore he is chinna samshaya yah adhikrata purusha purvoktena prakarana karma yoga अनुष्ठान क्रमेण संस्कृत आत्मा सन जन्मादि विक्रिया रही तत्व निष्क्रिय आत्मा आत्म संबुद्ध सर्वकर्मा मनसा सन्यस नई कुरवन्न कार्यन आसीन नैष्कर्म्य लक्षण ज्ञान निष्ठा अश्नुते पूर्वोक्त कर्मयोग से प्रयोजन अनेन श्लोक उत्त सो दि प्रयोजन ऑफ दि अर्लियर श्लोक हेज बीन मेन्शन डिर् दिस इज दि फला वट इज दि क्रम स देर यह अधिकृता वन हु हैज अधिकारा दैट कैंड ऑफ अ पुरुष अधिकारी पूर्वोक्तेन प्रकारेण इन दी मेथोडोलॉजी मेंशनड हियर कर्म योग अनुष्ठानेन दिस इज गिविंग अप संगा एंड द फला एसोसिएशन देयरफॉर कर्म योगी एंड देयरफॉर हिज हिज योग इज कर्म योग हिज कर्म इज आल्सो कर्म योग हिज त्याग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज त्याग और सन्यास क्रमेण इन सीक्वेंस संस्कृत आत्मा सन therefore sanskrit atma is antakarana here sanskrit antakarana san being chitta shuddhi being a person with chitta shuddhi janmaadi vikriya rahitatvena nishkriyam atmanam atmatvena sambuddha so atmanam atmatvena sambuddha means what one who knows very well oneself as atma not as anything else therefore nishkriya one considers oneself as akarta abhokta That kind of a nishkriya atma one knows as oneself. Which atma? That atma which is not subject to janma, ityadi vikriya. So janma, janma adi vikriya rahi tatvi na. Bereft of janma ityadi, saha that purusha sa purusha sarva karmani manasa sannyasya. Manasa sannyasya has come by in the shloka itself earlier. Naiva kurvan na karen that is also. shloka gata not doing anything not making others do because jnani is karma is karma bhasa manasa sanyasya has given up does not even think about karma as something to be done by a karta kind of a me then naishkarmi lakshanam jnana nishtham asnute attains what jnana nishtha what kind of jnana nishtha आसीन रिमेनिंग विदउट डूइंग और मेकिंग अदर डू कारयन इज हेतुमति निजंत नैष्कर्मे लक्षण ज्ञान निष्ठा एटेन्स ज्ञान निष्ठा विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय निष्कर्म नैष्कर्मे लक्षण नैष्कर्मे सिद्धि इज अ वर्क बाय भगवान सुरेश्वराचार्य सो इट हेज अ गीता वर्ड in its title so it is jnana nishtha which is free from any karma characterized by 
being free from karma one attains and that is the prayojana of the earlier uh, karma yoga which is mentioned here in the earlier shloka narayan parokta dandam avita samvam andasyanta stumi loka sapta dvipa chami any questions i have one question yeah this 10th uh, 10th verse is more uh, the tyagi is actually a mumukshu no here yeah he is still not a gnani <coughs> yeah but there is a krama has to be mentioned right that's what the sangati is tan atmajnana vimukasya kramena yatha tannishta syat tad vaktavyam so this is a summary of he has just summed up the second and third chapter and it, it, it's going to land in the atmajnana right correct so he is he has to finally land there so what is the krama so krama has been mentioned there as one has to do karma yoga and after Correct. that he is praised as sanyasi and then finally he land into jnana because it is he is not going to stop at the second chapter third chapter he is going to go through and through like arjuna had questions so manana and then he land into nishtha oh, here uh, because he has said that uh, 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 karma phala has to be given up so and but at the same time he is defining the tyagi as medhavi and chinna samkara in towards 10th towards there is no talk about karma phala being given up what okay. has been said in the 9th towards karma phala tyaga has been talked about that is satvika Correct. then Correct. this person satvika becomes capable for jnanam because he is a karma yogi he becomes capable for jnana through chitta shuddhi and being capable for jnana is not going to sit idle he is going to he becomes atma vimukha Okay. and atma jnana vimukha once he starts facing atma atma jnana vimukha means what shravana is doing if he does shravana then doubts will be there then manana and manana <laughs> all that and finally he will get nishta nishta and then medhavi chinna samshaya manana siddha and then he has what is this chinna okay. samshaya i explained here atma swarupa vasthanam nishta So the entire journey has been summarized in the tenth words. Okay, okay. So that is. Krama has to be described. This is a krama. Not the idea. Kutram karma, kushale na anushtya the. So keep on doing karma yoga. Then that tyagi sattu samavishta and sattva is enough. Then you have to bridge the gap. He becomes medavi by ravana manana and then chinna saushya nididhya sana. Okay, understood. Anything else? Anyone else? No, but. Uh... The chinna samsha here is only telling it is a sadhana, no? It is Sorry? not yet. So here chinna samsha is the is in in the context of sadhana, right? Of it course, is it is. It is in the but see, k krama. What is the krama which is taught here? Of course, he he is he is not have. He, this is the understanding, right? Chinna samsha. He knows that this this atma swarupa. See what is said here. Atma swarupa was thanam yo para. He he is not having nishtha, but is tuned towards that. He knows what is the marga further. He is a sadaka, all right. So what Kalyanji and you are saying that is right. He is a sadaka, but the what is the why why is it means why he is a chinna samshya medha vi medha will finally lead there. He does not have to do anything more. That is being mentioned. Karma yoga will lead to chitta shuddhi. Then shravana mana nidhya asana. He is clear on the journey. Therefore, is a nidhyasu. This mumukshu becomes jnyasu in the true sense, and then he is when he is clear. No, anyat kinchit itche or nishche na chinnna samshya. He does not have, of course, nishtha is not there, but he knows that his nishtha is not in atma, but his nishtha is in sadhana, as in jnana sadhana, jnana yoga, right? So nishtha is commitment. Commitment need not be in. in atma itself atma swarupa avasthana is nishtha which is nishreya sadhana means which is moksha sadhana that is clear to him whether he has got it or not is a different story but this is the journey journey sankshepa has been given it is not said that he has got the phala but what has been mentioned here पूर्वोक्त से कर्मयोग से प्रयोजन अनेने एवं श्लोके ने उक्तम व्हाट इज द प्रयोजन प्रयोजन ऑफ द कर्मयोग इज दैट ही इज रेडी टू वॉक द पाथ ऑफ मोक्षा 
he knows that there is no other path till then he may not have known shravana mananidhyasana is the path and there is nothing other than jnana which can lead to moksha that is clear unto him sadhana nischaya is there yeah understood okay hmm. i am not saying that he has got moksha i am saying that to him the journey is clear nishtha is indicated here nishtha in atma is finally what is going to release you that much is known to him whether he has nishtha has not been talked about at all here if he has it well and good but that is his journey and he does not have to do anything other than this see whatever has been taught has been taught in these 18 chapters anyway in the 17 and plus chapters right so it's being summarized that you should know the path karma yoga should be continued one should not take to sanyasa without having adhikara in sanyasa as long as karma adhikara is there that should continue and then that itself will lead to chitta shuddhi and then clarity as to nothing else is needed because that is itself a big deal accepting that i don't need any other sadhana for moksha that is a that is a huge deal because there is always a question even for a sadhaka that oh I, what should i do next there is nothing like doing next it is giving up whatever we are doing yeah understood anything else no is it clear anand yeah um, i had an unrelated question uh, hmm. just remembered something i uh i think maybe month back or something uh you had mentioned that uh, some some teacher or uh, somewhere it comes that uh, even teaching is considered as nididhyasana uh, yeah so so how how is how is teaching nididhyasana i didn't understand that like it's, it's a it's see it's a, uh, not exactly it's a concession so to say uh, it, this is what uh, panchadashi kara says so bhagwan vidyaranya chara says that just like you have navada bhakti right you have navada bhakti right in vaishnava sampraday you have navada bhakti yeah yeah so in In, in that navada bhakti similarly you read what is that uh, navada bhakti tat kathanam tat chintanam all that finally what you, what is nishtha nishtha is what nitaram sthiti nitaram sthiti now it can be meditative in the sense that you been away from the society and stay in samadhi with a what kind of samadhi jnana purvaka we have seen this we have seen this in sixth chapter uh, madhusudana saraswati acharya says this right you have seen this yoga after jnana utpatti nididhyasana which is dhyana roopa and dhyana roopa in a sense culminates in samadhi that's one way other way is jhay chintane so chintana is there so dhyana can also mean chintana dhatu is jhay chintane so how do you do chintana you continuously have commitment so nishta is nitram sthiti in that particular tattva atma swarupa avasthana lakshana and there there is nothing else yatra yatra mano yati tatra tatra samadhi wherever the mind goes it is samadhi and wherever how do you do that it is by chintana you resolve everything with effort and then it becomes effortless but that is nididhyasana by description as teaching that time you are doing tat kathanam tat chintanam so nishta chintana rupa dhyana is still there because you are doing nothing you are bringing back every topic into there is no other topic what you are teaching the topic is atma dhyana so atma dhyana is the focus atma swarupa avasthana is the focus thereby chintana is being the focus tat kathana chintana is, it is all about atma thereby nididhyasana i would say nididhyasanam iv but then swami parmarthanand ji also says that it has worked as nididhyasanam for him he recommends others to teach as well now the question is what will one who 
cannot wean himself or herself away into the kind of nididhyasana which is talked about the first type what else is the person supposed to do will have to spend entire time in same atma tattva whether it is studying or teaching it will have the same effect more chintana is needed and chintana is more in more ways when you talk to others because there is it, you are facing others questions also your own questions and then so much to do therefore nididhyasanam eva nididhyasanam okay okay yeah that's it okay anything else anyone else okay i had a, i had a question yes amma uh so in this in the sequence of steps uh, i'm not able to understand where would dhyana yoga come in dhyana yoga comes in two places if you are if it is pre jnana then it comes in the sadhana chaturte sampatti to train the mind shamadamadi so there dhyana is important because dhyana is what dhyana is preceded only by ji in the ashtanga yoga in ashtanga mm-hmm. yoga dhyana is preceded by dharana dhyana samadhi mm-hmm. so dharana it is preceded by dharana dharana is preceded by pratyahara mm-hmm. which is preceded by the the bahiranga sadhana so there is training of the like samadhi shatka sampatti in yoga you have yama niyama and then asana pranayama or basically what dama and shama put in other way, other ways and the yeah, the shatka sampatti is also included there then alone it can become antaranga so pratyahara is involved by weaning away so all that will lead to dhyana now dhyana in yoga can be on anything therefore pre jnana dhyana on anything and anything in the sense what if shama is not sufficient then shama has to be built up by doing dhyana on shama itself one can do dhyana on shama itself so that one inculcates inculcates those qualities so guna so yoga prakriya there uh, patanjali maharshi talks about it as to what can one meditate upon and there are so many options one can choose as to pre jnana what all sadhanas are needed one can get those by doing dhyana on those working towards those as well so something which is an obstacle towards that one can have a um, what is called it's called uh, um, the viruddha bhavana one can retain the viruddha bhavana so all these yogic process helps there this is pre jnana dhyana then post jnana dhyana is nididhyasana so it fits in both cases if shamadamadi basically sadhana chaturtha sampatti is not in good measure then even is sufficient but not good enough then nishtha is not going to be possible when nishtha is not possible jnanotpatti has taken place manana also is decent enough but then nishtha is not possible because viparita bhavana is there that has to be countered that can be countered by dhyana so dhyana is one way of nididhyasana Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, I'm just wondering if while doing karma yoga is there a point where the mind becomes uh, towards dropping off karma and towards dhyana? Uh, no, dhyana towards what? It has to be particular towards. Yeah, See, yeah. Karma, karma includes doing nitya, nitya. Uh, karma also during karma yoga also uh, since it is nitya karma it, it involves upasana also so upasana is one form of dhyana there in the upasanas one may get more drawn towards upasana so uh, similarly there are uh, paths also created so in sadhana also in uh, it can be you know we using the various uh, yantras tantras mantras outward it can be within also so upas one can go more from the stool to the sukshma sadhanas that is a possibility 
but still wi- without the aikya jnana mm-hmm. and without the aikya jnana which is manana siddha dhyana which is of the nididhyasana form is not possible so mm-hmm. earlier also earlier to this if one is drawn more towards upasana it would be saguna upasana or even nirguna also if it is there it is mere upasana it is not preceded by jnana therefore that that can work as karma yoga itself it can work for ishta siddhi also devata siddhi also but not uh, you know krita upasthi one can become an uttama sadhaka mm-hmm. but then it is not nididhyasana yeah yeah okay Okay, namaste. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Namaste. That's it.